In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the latest features in DataFetcher. The first thing we've added is an integration with OpenAI. So you can now connect to OpenAI without writing any code by selecting OpenAI for the application here, entering your API key that you can get by logging in using the link, and then select the endpoint you want to use. So you've got two different endpoints, one for creating text completions and one for creating images from a prompt. So I'm going to use the text completion one to create a description for the podcast in my table here. So I've already set this up before um, and we've got tutorials on how you can do this. And you can see I've got the result here. So I'm going to run that. And now that result is going to be output into my table here. And obviously, if you had a list of podcasts, you could do this for every single podcast in your list. So check out our videos on how to work with OpenAI right inside Airtable with no code. The next thing we've added is more nuanced handling of JSON in the response. So you can see here, I'm going to get this JSON response from an API. And when I run that, these positions that you see here in the nested arrays are now mapped to just one field. So previously DataFetcher would have mapped these to a positions one field and a positions two field. But now it comma separates them. So it combines them into one field and comma separates them with a comma. And they're all mapped into one field. If you want the old behavior that we used to have in DataFetcher, you can go into the advanced settings and turn these off. And now when we get the response, it's going to map them to different fields. So you've now got flexibility. You can either combine them into one field or you can combine them or you can separate them out into two different fields. And the last thing we've added is request descriptions. So at the top of the screen here, you can see we've got this little description icon that you'll be familiar with from Airtable. And we can click on that and add a description. You can also add a description to sequences as well. And you'll see back on the home screen that description pops up on hover.